Uh, hi, this is Carl Zank at the Excelsior Inn. Uh, today we're going to be doing a little a wild boar stew called the Chingale Brazato. And uh, got some ingredients here. Um, it's uh, wild boar. This is from a Texas game farm. It's kind of interesting. It really is the only truly feral animal you can serve in a restaurant. You can't go shooting deer and serve them. But uh, this is a uh, wild raised in uh, in Texas, and uh, it's really delicious. You can really taste the, the terroir, as it were. All right, so we're gonna start out getting this browned up nice. A little bit of olive oil in the pan, get it nice and hot, and then we're gonna add our wild boar. Uh, this uh, is shoulder we use. Um, the shoulder braises up nice. It's got a lot of connective tissues and we cook slowly. It just gets to be meltingly tender and delicious. Uh, so that's what we're using, shoulder. You can buy this at Long's Meats here in town if you're looking for it. And we're gonna just put that in the pot. And now uh, just get that all over there. And you wanna get some nice brown color this is about a pound and a half. I think I have about two pounds on the on the uh, recipe I've written down for y'all. We're gonna let that brown a little bit. Well, that's going. Uh, I'm gonna just start to saute up some vegetables. So the vegetables we're using is kind of your classic mirepoix vegetables. Uh, I've got some carrots, celery, onions, um, and we're just gonna saute these again in a little bit of olive oil as well. Now, if you have the time, you brown the meat, you can add these directly to it, but to kind of expedite things, we're gonna go this way. Now, this is a classic Italian dish, um, and, uh, but what's interesting is it's got some spices normally you wouldn't associate with Italy. We're using what we call medieval spices um, from the Veneto region of Italy, which is what we're going to be focusing on next month. Um, you have a lot of Eastern type influence. So the spices for this are uh, allspice, some coriander, juniper, uh, some cumin, some clove, something that's found a lot in the Veneto region, and a little bit of nutmeg as well. Uh, so really kind of an Eastern um, spice mix. Some fresh cinnamon, a little bay leaf as well. We're getting a little color on here. okay if there's a little bit of stuff stuck on the bottom that's just gonna deglaze and make a beautiful sauce just let that all cook and the vegetables just need to be kind of sweated it's going to go into a long cooking process and uh, if they're not you don't have to cook these a whole lot in the pan here um, just sweat them a little bit to kind of get some cooking started So we've got that going. I'm going to start uh, putting some spices into it. Uh, one thing, uh, we're using whole uh, nutmeg, which has got a lot better flavor than uh, just the dry ground that you usually have. If you use a little bit of a, uh, uh, a small grater like this, it's, it works wonderfully for the nutmeg. So I'm gonna put in about a quarter of a teaspoon or just under a half a nutmeg. And the rest, allspice again, about a quarter of a teaspoon is all you need. It's pretty strong stuff. And then I'm just going to put in a few cloves, like five. And get those sauteing in there as well. Now I'm getting some color. So I'm going to go ahead and put the vegetables in there as well. Whoops. Jumping out of the pot. All right. Now that's cooking nicely. 
Now we're going to toast some of these herbs, uh, some of these uh, spices. Brings out a lot more flavor on them. So I've got some cumin seed. Put a little bit in there. Got some coriander. I think I'm saying about a tablespoon of both of these. And same is some juniper berries. And we're just going to put those in a dry pan over the heat and give them a little bit of toast. When they start to pop, then you know they're done. Meanwhile, in this, in this pot, we're now getting some good color and we're ready to, to start to deglaze it. I'm going to grab some flour. Put about a tablespoon to two tablespoons of flour in there. It's going to help to thicken the sauce when it's done. And stir that in. And before that has a chance to get too dark in the bottom, we're going to go ahead and hit it with some red wine. Any dry red's going to be fine. Uh, about a cup. Now you can see the toast coming here. They're starting to pop a little bit. You can see the smoke coming from them and the oil coming out of the juniper berries. Those are ready to grind now. All right. Can we go right to the grinder over here? So a coffee grinder is kind of indispensable when you're going to use herbs like this. And we're going to put it in there. And grind those herbs. You've got a nice toasty mix. Can't smell it on TV, but I'm, it's really nice. Put that in. We're going to add a little bit of tomato. Uh, this is just a tomato sauce. We make our, our own tomato sauce here. If you had something in your refrigerator, like a spaghetti sauce or something, you could use that, or, or just some uh, tomato paste as well. Stir that in, and we're going to add a little bit of broth. Now, you could use a beef broth. I've got some veggie stock here I'm just going to use. And you just want to add that just to cover it. And now, we're also going to throw in a little bay leaf and the cinnamon sticks. And lastly, we're going to season it with a little black pepper and some salt. And it's all come to a boil now. You can see it's got some thickness to it. It's got some beautiful color. Now that's ready to cover and put into an oven. Now you want to roast that or braise that 275 to 300 degrees covered for about two hours. Chingale brisato with potato gnocchi.